Let's turn now to CBS's chief foreign affairs correspondent and moderator of Face the Nation, Margaret Brennan. All right, Margaret, on the diplomatic front, those meetings that were supposed to take place, those seem to be done. I mean, is diplomacy dead? Well, this was already a diplomatic Hail Mary pass, and uh, clearly it's not going anywhere. Vladimir Putin had very low regard uh, for the idea of even talking. What we know is that the war is already underway, and Vladimir Putin may be testing just how far he can go. He is already strangling Ukraine's economy. He is taking bites out of their territory. And so what happens next may determine how far he goes. What he knows is to clear things. No country in the world is going to send troops to defend his country, and that all of these sanctions hurt European economies, and there's also a bite back here at home with the United States. I mean, President Biden's already dealing with inflation at a 40-year high, and now oil is trading at $100 a barrel. Yeah, he brought that up several times today, pain at the pump, as he said. But the president tried to make the case that the West is united against Putin. Any sign that that has deterred him? It has not deterred him. He's willing to take this pain, at least so far. Uh, and so this may be a chess game of where does that line get crossed. Uh, what we know is that the administration's argument to date has been this time it'll be different. That sanctions, yes, they're usually punitive, not preventative. This time they're so much tougher because they're going after the oligarchs at the bank and the banks that it will deter him. Obviously it didn't. But we know President Biden has said he's holding some sledgehammer sanctions in reserve to escalate if Putin goes further. So many people watching to see if Putin takes that move and takes the capital of Kiev. Margaret Brennan, thank you.